morning, story time friends. This is Miss Joanne with the Winters Bellbrook Library, which is part of the Green County Public Library. And I'm here this morning to do a, a story time with, with you. Now, one of the fun things about summer is vacation. And even when you're on vacation, any reading you do, any listening you listen to in the car of a book, that still counts for summer reading. So we, we hope that you'll get a chance to go somewhere with, with your family. So today's stories are about vacations and about maybe what can happen when you uh, plan one. So my very first book is, is a Maisie book. It's Maisie Goes on Vacation. And it is read to you this morning with the permission of Candlewick uh, Publishers. They have, they're one of the many that have given permission to have a story read to you online. So it's Maisie Goes on Vacation and the author and illustrator is Lucy Cousins. Here's our title page. What I love about title pages, it gives us a little bit of a hint of what is going to happen in the story. And here we see Maisie and she's getting ready for her son. Today, Maisie is going on vacation. How exciting. Maisie is packing her blue suitcase to go to the seaside. She packs a sun hat, camera, and books. What else will she need? What would you like to bring with you when you go on a vacation? Hmm, interesting. With my, it would always be that the books are an important part with me. Maybe sunglasses. Maisie walks to the train station. The station is very busy today. Look, there's Cyril. He's buying the tickets. There he is. All aboard. The train pulls away from the platform and they're off to go. Sometimes you can take a car to a vacation. You can take a train to a vacation. Sometimes you can fly. That's awfully fun. Maisie colors while Cyril chooses his snacks. Everybody takes out their tickets when the conductor arrives. Nearly there. Can you see the ocean? Can you see in the picture where the ocean might be? It's right there where my fingers are. And I do have, I do love palm trees. Maisie and Cyril go to their hotel room. They bounce on the bed, and then it's time to unpack and go to, where do you think they're gonna go? <gasps> to the movies? Maybe go out for dinner? Maybe go to the beach. That's the best thing to do. There they are on the beach. Splash! Maisie loves to jump right in. Splish! Cyril likes to paddle. There they are. There's so much to do at the beach. Collecting shells, building sandcastles, playing all day on the shore. I have to think of what your favorite thing to do is on the beach. Then it's time for a snack. Maisie eats ice cream and Cyril drinks juice. Then they write postcards. Cyril writes to Charlie and Maisie writes to her friend Dottie. Our first day at the seaside was lovely, she tells her. And at the end of the day, Maisie and Cyril return to their hotel room and get ready for bed. Good night, Maisie. Good night, Cyril. We get a good night's rest so that we go back to the beach. Have a nice vacation. And that's what Maisie and her friend Cyril do when they have a vacation. Well, I brought a friend with me today, one of my puppet friends. He's one of my bigger ones. I want you to meet my friend, the bear. So, can you say good morning? Good morning. All right. You can say hi to all the friends. They're going to be looking at you out that way. No, don't be shy. You can come on and look. We'll kind of give them a wave. All right. And what? what? Be shy. I'm sorry. Okay, I know, you, the bears are in this next story. Yeah, do you wanna listen? All right, okay, let's me put you down so you can listen to the story. And the story is called The Great Indoors. Sometimes moms and dads, and you boys and girls, like to go on a vacation out into the wilderness, into the woods, into the lakes and the shores and the mountains and go hiking and do all that fun stuff. And we kind of call it saying, I wanna go out into the great outdoors. Well, we've got a story about the great indoors. And this book is being read to you with by permission of Disney Publishing Worldwide. They have given us permission to share this story with you. 
Sometimes if you look at the end papers, they give you a clue. And we have a house and we have a family that looks like they're all packed up and they're leaving. Maybe they're going to the great outdoors. Here's our title page, The Great Indoors. It's by Julie Falatko and the illustrator is Ruth Chan. Uh-oh, who's looking behind the tree? That's uh, our friend, the bear. Uh-oh, there's somebody else over here. The bears always arrive first. Ah, the great indoors, said the father bear. The most relaxing week of the year, said the mother bear. I call the bathroom, said the teenage bear, running in with her blow dryer and curling iron. There they go. The beavers moved in next, setting up camp in the kitchen. I do so love a roof over my head, said one. Everything stays as dry as the inside of a pine cone. Here's the ice cream, said another. Shove it all in the freezer before it melts. There they are, all moving into the kitchen, putting their ice cream away. The deer were next with their karaoke machine. Goodbye, peace and quiet, said a big deer. Hello, dance party, said a bigger deer. Who knew the deer loved the dance? The skunks flopped onto the couch. Ah, the simple life. When you want light, you just flip a switch. So simple. Everyone gathered around the glow of the television while the beavers whipped up snacks. Can I have more ice in my drink? Asked the mother bear. Of course, said the beaver. Nothing like a frosty cold drink, said the bear. So much better than the forest temperature drinks at home. Lasagna time, said a beaver in a chef's hat. Watching TV. The great indoors was the perfect vacation spot. The bears built things with power tools. The skunks all enjoyed the excellent cell phone reception. And the deer crooned love songs and hollered rock anthems. And the beavers were always ready with casseroles, milkshakes, cookies, and toast. Look at all the food. This is the life, said a bear. Ah, I can finally let my hair down, said the big deer. I'm going to take another shower, said the skunk. As the days went by, things got less than perfect. I'm so sore with all this dancing and singing. My thumbs hurt from playing Dam Builder 4 all day long. And the teenage bear still wouldn't come out of the bathroom. And then it got worse. Did you drink all this coffee, you little stinker? Who forgot to put the lid on the blender? Who left the freezer open? And who keeps licking the butter? If you look carefully, you can see who's licking the butter. It's over on this side, right there. And still, it got even worse. Oops, I broke the bed. Oops, I blew out the speaker. Just a small toaster fire. You're not supposed to put nacho cheese in the toaster. Look at the way the house is getting to be. Little fires, everything is a mess, They're made, things are broken. <gasps> uh -oh. Everyone was ready to go home. I miss the peace and quiet, said a deer. The great indoors is too much work, said a beaver. I miss peeing behind a tree, said a little skunk. Yeah. 
still, it was a great week, huh? Wouldn't miss it. See you next year. Definitely. Boy, am I glad to be home. Here's our family coming back to their house and look at how it looks. All right, the end. Boys and girls, thank you for listening to our story. We'll be back with more throughout the summer. Remember, mark this time on your um, piece of paper and keep track of it for summer reading prizes. Bye-bye.